Before we get into the detailed steps of how to conduct a hypothesis test, I want to concentrate on the larger picture at hand here. And that's essentially what we're doing here is we want to see if our data agree with some prediction that we might have. And this prediction is going to be based on some substantive theory or field that you're coming from. So a bare bones definition of a hypothesis is just going to be that we have some statement about a characteristic of a variable or a set of variables. Now, a little bit more specifically to the task at hand when we've been talking about estimators and parameters is a hypothesis is going to be a statement about some population. And it's a prediction that we have that we believe a parameter is describing this variable and it takes on a particular new variable or falls within a certain range of variables, right? So essentially, what we're saying is that in order to see whether or not our hypothesis is correct, we want to conduct some sort of test. And we're going to call that a significance test, i.e., how likely is it that the data that we have in our sample supports the hypothesis that I generated from my theory. Now, you might be wondering, how does this relate to what I already know and what we already talked about with regard to statistical inference in the last module? Now, you'll remember that confidence intervals are really about trying to put bounds around a point estimate that we have that we believe represents our best guess of a some true underlying parameter value. Now, a hypothesis test is not too much different. This is just allowing us to make some sort of, quote, scientific claim. And by that, I mean, rather than using numbers to represent the bounds of uncertainty, we're going to use a hypothesis test to essentially statistically describe the bounds of uncertainty around our statement or belief about the world, in this case, a hypothesis. What I can't stress enough is that this procedure is very general. So when we're talking about building confidence intervals around an estimate we have of a single population mean, what we're gonna talk about next week is generating confidence intervals around two means in order to compare them and make a hypothesis test. So pretty much everything that we're doing from here on out is going to build on this basic fundamental building block. Everything from hypothesis testing to confidence intervals to difference of means to regression analysis, all of this is going to be centered around the fact that we're interested in some value in an underlying population, we have some estimate from the sample, and we want to generate a hypothesis test in order to see whether or not that actually represents some underlying relationship that we think exists in the world.